He's like, screw it, I'm gonna pull guard. And I'm like, screw it, I'm gonna poke him in the eye. Okay, so this is my Abu Dhabi Trials 2014 East Coast match with Steven Martinez. You may have seen him on EBI, he does a bunch of super fights. He's done Abu Dhabi Trials a bunch of times. Uh, he's pretty tough um, and skilled grappler. So let's dig right in. This is a semifinals, and we both want to go to Abu Dhabi really badly. So, and again, I think he's smaller. I think he uh, eventually went down a weight class after this. So I, I'm basically like a full 193. Like that's that, that was my my weight, six feet tall. So he was a little shorter, maybe in the 180s. And uh, I know for a fact he went down after this, even I think to 170 or something. So we're just, you know, you got Freakazoid in the background here. He ended up winning the trials. I think now he's getting invited. Joe Bay is back here in the background. Tom DeBlas in the background. All right. I think actually he won as well. Robbie Donofrio coaching me. We're just jockeying for position here. Hands on the inside. Again, there's no points. It's a six-minute match, three minutes of nothing, no points, and then three minutes of points. So he's like, screw it, I'm going to pull guard. And I'm like, screw it, I'm going to poke him in the eye. Obviously accidental. Um, I was just trying to push his head back. I wanted to get him flat on the ground. And then he slicks the hair to the side, realizes everything's fine. Uh, and obviously that was an accident. Yeah, Enrico Coco get back here. He ended up winning. All right, so now I'm looking for my patented arm drag takedown. Always looking for it. If they leave a wrist out, I am taking the wrist, dragging it, tripping. And it's almost unstoppable if done the right timing like that. So as you see, I did it. And then I went immediately for a pass. So there's the takedown. I already have an underhook. So I just wanted to try to drive my knee through or over. And I would have had a nice tight side control. But he's too good for that. He puts me back into his butterfly. And I, all I was thinking this match is I want to put some pressure on him. I want to try to pass hard. I want to, I want to win quickly, obviously. But if it's a long match, I want him to get tired. I knew I was in great shape. My conditioning was on point. Um, so I just wanted to put pressure on him. And everything he tried, I just wanted to stop. Like he's trying to come up for a deep or for a half guard coming up, push the head away. Every time someone tries to get up there, you push the head away. It shuts it right down. Now he tried for the deep, so my defense to that is to step over to the opposite side and then turn right and be in like a twisted half guard position, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, and I see a foot, so I'm like, why not try to take a toe hold? And then he sees my back, so I don't like that, so I turn quick. Go back to an underhook, and look, my knee is almost already through for the pass. And I pass, but he, what he did really well in this match over and over and over is turtle, get a leg out, and sit back to a guard. And I wanted that guillotine, but he sat back down. It's very smart of him. I let go of it. Oh, I don't let go. I want it. I'm surprised I didn't get it. This is normally my finishing position right here. Um, but he did a good job of getting back under this leg and kind of raising me up a little to take some of the pressure off. He's opening up his elbow. And I thought, you know what? Let me just see if I can get the position. I'm not going to burn my arms out on this guillotine. I'm going to put shoulder pressure on, try to get this leg free, and take them out where I like to go for the head arm triangle. And yeah, like that's what I'm going for right now. Another reason I'm blocking this arm up is so he can't push my knee completely into half guard. So if I get my leg free, I can get a head arm triangle. If I don't get it free, uh, he's definitely not pushing it deeply into his half guard because the arm is missing. And I look for, there's always a little wrist lock here. If you looked at my wrist locks revealed uh, DVD, if I can grab his knocking knuckles and pull it backwards for that backward wrist lock. So I'm like looking. I can't reach. I'm just kind of waiting until I can grab it. Boom. So I got the... I make the face. Don't make this face in any of your matches. Try to stay calm. But when I get something, I just want to pull it. So I'm pulling it. I use two hands and it kind of screws me up. You're not supposed to use two hands. And I love to wrist pin when I'm mounted. I pin the wrist to the mat. This elbow comes over to save it. I drop my chest. I go to the gift wrap. 
So that's what I was trying to do. He saw me doing that. He pulls his elbow back. And I don't want him to get a hold of my knee. I always want to keep my knee free. He's trying to come back in for the underhook for the half guard. I use a wall called my arm. And again, I push the head away. I'm trying to drive back my knee down the mount. I want to, now I'm going to kick this leg over his head to come to the other side. But he has hold of it. So I got to just do it incrementally. My knee is free, so I'm good over here. I want to get this leg over to the other side. So I take my time. I push his head. Push, push, push. Take my time. I have good balance here. And I throw it over to the other side. And look, he's opening up a little. See that daylight? He's opening up that underhook. I'm going to take it. I'm going to try to kick my knee the rest of the way out. And again, every time I pass, he's just good at turtling, lifting a leg. And as I go to take the back, he just sits back the guard really well. So I could have tried to take the back faster. Looking back, that's probably what I should do is just jump on it. But I didn't want to get too sloppy and, and fall off and be on bottom. Although it's not the worst thing in the world to be on bottom. I just I prefer on the top on these big tournaments. So now he did a good job of getting a deep underhook. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Just opening my hands, not really doing anything. But what I should be doing is this arm should be in front of his face, pushing him away or making a wall so he can't get as deep as he is. He's got his best chance to sweep me right now. I mean, that's as deep as you're going to get. I don't even know. I just stood up. He kind of gave up on it too. So I like this ankle pin pass. You guys see it in my guard pass blueprint. I pin the ankle right here. Uh, is that Quentin Rosenweg? I didn't even know he was there. Uh, I pin the ankle here. I walk around. He gets his foot caught in my hip and uses it to invert. Go back and I push him back down. Again, it's like that's like the third pass in a row where I get past his legs and he's able to turtle. And this time I'm like, screw it. I'm not waiting for him to flip. I'm just jumping on him. And again, great job. He grabs my heel, doesn't let that second hook in, keeps my weight down. And now I'm thinking, crap, I really don't want to be on bottom. I don't want to lose position. Oh, look, it's JC. See, like, I didn't even know half these people back then. Uh, Broadway Jiu Jitsu, JC, good guy. And then, boom, I just get up in base. He tries driving into me. I get the wizard and just kind of athletically muscle, muscle them over, really. I just made it a point where I basically said to myself, I'm not going to be on my back. I'm going to be on top. <laughs> I want the sweep points for it. And they don't give it to me because I think he initiated the sweep and I just put him back to where we were. You always got to try. I mean, you never know. I keep letting him get that underhook. And now I, I finally push his head away and try to get my own underhook. But he just keeps his elbow tight. Keep pushing him away. I mean, I should back step right now and go for a leg lock. I didn't do a whole lot of leg locks back then, but that's what I would do today. I would just back step and take the honey hole because it's right there. It's like calling my name. But this was before all that. This was 14. This is before everyone was doing the honey hole. This was right about the time it started. And he's just trying to come under me and he's wasting a lot of energy. And I'm, I just felt bigger. I felt a little stronger. And I just I felt like I was going to win. I just wanted to win. So I pass, he turtles again, look at this, and he sits right back through again, fourth time in a row, props to you for getting me with the same thing four times in a row, shame on me. Bringing us back to the center, uh, we got one minute until regulation's over, did you see that big breath he took? I definitely did. So guys, when you're competing, don't show anybody anything. I mean, I'm, as I'm showing you, I'm a little tired by putting my hands on my knees. I say that, but it's true. I saw a big breath, so that that gave me extra energy to kind of push to, there it is, <gasps> to kind of be like, all right, he's getting tired. Let me, let me try to take this last minute and go hard and push, try to stop what he's doing and just get what I'm doing. Uh, he's triangling my leg, and I have my knee in, so I can't really knee cut through. So I think we're both breathing here. But really, I'm thinking to myself, I don't, I don't need to be breathing. I need to be just going. So he's going for like some kind of uh, knee compression, which I personally, I mean, not to say someone can't get me in it, but I've personally never been tapped in that in training or in a tournament. Uh, so I wasn't going to start here. 
I leg drag them. And I don't even do too many leg drags, but I saw it. Maybe that's why I didn't get it, because I don't do too many. And he's going for some kind of sweep, leg lock, and I just used it to back step pass. So what does he do? He comes up again. Turtle for the fifth time. Slides a leg out, sits. And I'm pretty frustrated with it, so I'm like, all right, he's not doing it this time. And then he does it. <laughs> all right, so I have a cross face on his head. He really wants that single. He wants to get these last two points before regulation's over. And I'm like, there's no way you're getting these two points because it's my turn to go to Abu Dhabi this year. That's basically what I was thinking. You got to have a good why. I've been fighting to get to Abu Dhabi. It was a goal in my brain for 10 years since I was a blue belt to that moment there. And this is my this was my 10th year of competing. And I just felt like I deserved it more than any of these guys. I definitely wanted it more. So we're both tired here. It's a two-minute overtime. I felt like he was definitely more tired. So I knew I wanted to just go right away, get the takedown, and just go for the finish. I don't I don't really enjoy winning on points. Yeah, I won, I would win the match, but you you don't really feel like you beat someone until you sub them. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do. And uh so we're just jockeying, and I'm looking for my arm drag takedown because it's almost always there, and it's very hard for people to stop. Once he leaves his wrists out, boom, two points. So if he doesn't tap me in two minutes now, I would win 2-0. But I'm like, you know what? He's tired. Let me just, I think he tried one more like good deep half guard sweep, like right here. And then I, yeah, he's got one more good go in him. He was really tired, and then... uh I think once I stopped it, he was like, Ugh. I find an underhook on this transition. I think this is what helped me. So I took a deep breath. I'm like, all right, that's it. I'm going to push hard now. I'm going for it. He came up, and I jump hard into an underhook and head control right there. And I, I just saw it, took it, squeezed it. Every ounce of energy I had left, I dropped it on him, and I got the tap. So I was pretty excited because now I'm going to the finals. And uh, oh, maybe that's not Quentin Rose. I'm right. It's somebody else. Look like him. And that was it, guys. Never give up. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. And there's Josh Hayden. And uh, he knows now that we were going to be in the finals together. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll keep pumping these out.